let's learn about what exactly ELT pipeline. So let's try to build some hands-on on ELT pipeline. So ELT stands for, so you are trying to extract the data and then you are trying to load the data. You are able to see it on my screen. So like you are able to extract the data. So now what we are doing, I am trying to extract the data from different sources. So like it can be a website, it can be a CRM, it can be a marketing platform, or it can be a Slack channel, whatever it is. You are extracting the data and you are storing it into a particular data lake. So now S3 is going to be your data lake. So we are trying to store it in a data lake. So after storing into a data lake, then what we are doing, we are loading that into a data warehouse. So data warehouse where exactly you are storing all your structured data or you are trying to integrate all your data at one particular place. So why you're integrating all your data at one place? So now data warehouse is a unified platform. Now where a data analyst can collect the data or a data scientist can collect the data or an AI guy can collect the data, he can start doing some analysis. Now, once you loaded the data, why we are trying to go with ELT pipeline, why not ETL pipeline is, so if you are able to go to ELT ETL pipeline, you are extracting the data into your S3, again your uh, data lake, and then you are trying to perform data transformation. So you are writing a Python code or you are writing your Databricks. So in order to, even within a Databricks as well, you write your PySpark code. And then based on the transformation, the perfect data, you are trying to load it into Snowflake. That's what we are basically doing it. Now, the what exactly people are doing is they are promoting ELD pipeline nowadays. So now why? Hey man, like if you know SQL, that is sufficient. So now you are trying to load the data into Snowflake and you are able to clean the data when you are trying to perform analysis or when you are trying to perform based on the requirement, you are able to transform the data with the help of a tool called as dbt. So now when there is a requirement, so I collected the data, I loaded it into a data warehouse and when there is a requirement for me to analyze it, then at that point of time you are able to trigger your transformation job. So we are able to use it with the help of a tool called as dbt, data build tools. Now we are understanding about this ELT pipeline. So if you are using dbt, so dbt is the latest one, you can do various transformation operations. So without writing Python code, with the help of SQL, you are able to do various transformations with the help of a tool called as dbt. And there is another tool called as Metillion. So now without even writing anything, just with a no code platform, just with a visual drag and drop, you are able to build ETL. So now we got various ETL platforms, ELT platforms with no code. For example, Hevo is an ELT platform, so no code ELT platform. And you are having Metillion, which is an ETL platform. So again, which is a no code ETL platform. In this way, like with the help of very minimal coding or no coding, we can do this. Now, for example, if I want to do this ELT pipeline, you need to have two accounts. One, you need to have an AWS account. Why? You are collecting the data, you are loading it into S3, which is going to be your data lake. And you need to have your Snowflake account. Why? You are trying to use that as your data warehouse. And you need to have a DBT account. And you are, inter you are trying to build a connection between Snowflake and DBT. And you are building a connection between AWS and Snowflake. So that you are extracting the data from S3, you are loading into Snowflake. And you are cleaning or transforming the data with the help of DBT. That's what the pipeline we are doing. For this, let's try to go and let's um, create Snowflake account. So now I'm just going to uh, just Snowflake, simply type Snowflake. You are able to go to Snowflake AI Data Cloud and it's going to say you can create an account. I want to start for free. And let's give my name where Raj and Kant. Why are you signing up? Let's say training and company name. Let's say Deepak, job title, data engineer. And you have three versions, standard version, enterprise version, and business critical version. So you can go with a standard version. So now 
it is low at cost and if you are going with a material means like enterprise if you want to create materialized views and all that enterprise and business critical there are various uh, means like pros and cons and there are various features as you are going from standard to enterprise and to your uh, business critical there are different facilities within snowflake let's say i'll be going with my standard version and i will be using aws as my cloud provider and uh, i'm choosing asia pacific singapore or you can choose something close by to the location you are in right now so i'm choosing asia specific singapore i have read and agree get started and what do you prefer obviously i'll be preferring python i prefer sql so again continue and this is just like uh, if you want you can skip them i can just skip it so like uh, now they shared me the trial to be pick email id which i have it so we received the uh, activation link from snowflake i need to click on it and i need to click to activate so that it's going to ask me to create a an username i can just create bpec31 and i can create the password so i just created username and the password i can save and that's it i think you are into the snowflake and now it is asking hey you just want to import the data you want to do anything skip for now and if you want to create any script just click on click create and sql script you are into your sql here you can start creating database so simply you can type create database create database for example bpec control enter so we are able to create a database i can refresh we created bpec database i can create a schema so simple create schema for example raw underscore bpec underscore data for example control enter so again we created a schema so raw underscore bpec underscore data same you can start writing down your sql queries and now we created snowflake and now i we want to have a dbt so to have a dbt you can simply go to getdbt.com/signup so you can start creating your dbt account now bpec solutions again same again raj kant bpec and i want to create a password and i just maybe event at a conference i agree i'm not a robot create my account so they shared an e verification same like snowflake i think let's see whether we received any yeah we got verify account so i got 13 day free trial i currently use dbt core yeah so now dbt can be used in two ways one you can install vs code or you can install vs code python and you are able to connect dbt with the help of coding and you can do it dbt core or you can do it through dbt cloud so with the help of a simple ui so i'll be showcasing both so that you get an idea how exactly we can connect dbt with snowflake in our next video let's try to install dbt in python so like and then we can connect dbt with respect to your snowflake and let's try to do certain operations in dbt so that we can view them in snowflake so to do that you want certain checklist the first one going to be you need to have a vs code for example in my system i got vs code visual studio code in case if you don't have it please install it so once you install it then you need to have a python installed in your system so like i got vs code and then i want to navigate it to my folder so like with in my simply i just need to say open and i want to go to documents and i am going to the folder called as 
script files. So like this is the folder where I want to stay and just click on open. So like now I'm at this particular position. Now, once you have this uh, one, means like VS code, make sure you have a Python version. So to check the Python version, just sim simply type Python hyphen hyphen version so that you are able to get your Python version 3.11.7. So that, that's my version. And in, in order to install your dbt in your system, you want to run the code pip install dbt hyphen snowflake equal to equal to 1.9.0. So like by clicking on enter, you're able to install Snowflake in your system. So once you install successfully, it's already there. So once you install successfully, then you want to check whether your DPT is there or not. So for that reason, what I'm doing, I'm simply typing dbt. If you're able to simply type dbt, you're able to see, hey, these are the kind of commands. So it says that dbt is successfully installed in your system. Now you got dbt, then what we need to do, we want to establish a connection between dbt and Snowflake. So for that, what I'm doing, I want to create a folder. So within my, and I want to create a we, we can say like dbt profile. I want to create that. So in order to create it, you want to run the command dbt int int and you want to create your dbt folder name so like here the dbt folder name i'm just giving it as dbt something like bpec1 so let's say i want to create dbt int the folder name is dbt bpec1 and we are creating that at my the folder path i already selected it so i went to the documents i went to the script files there i'm just trying to create that so like let's enter so it is saying like okay now uh, here so which database would you like to use so there are only one option as of now you can select one i want to connect with snowflake i connected with snowflake then it is asking with you need to connect your account so in order to connect your account so what we are doing we are going to uh, our snowflake click on the rk and or you can say like go to snowflake go to your top bottom left corner go to your account and click on view account details so that you are able to get your account identifier copy that account identifier and just paste that account identifier and it is asking username so like i'm giving the username and it is asking for how you want to authenticate that user. So is it through password, key pair, SSO? So like it's basically a password. So I'm just clicking on one. Now I need to enter the password. I gave the password and I need to enter the role. So like here, the role currently I'm at account admin role, but in your organization, they will be giving different roles. Now you can either assist admin and all that. Now I'm just giving it as account admin role. So I gave account admin role. I want to give the warehouse name. So now currently the warehouse I'm using is Compute WH Warehouse. So that is the name of the warehouse. You are just typing compute underscore wh and you want to give the database name so already i have my database which is called as bpec i'm giving that bpec database and i want to give the schema name so even i created schema raw underscore bpec underscore data i'm giving the schema name raw underscore bpec underscore data i created schema and just i want one thread in case if you want to parallelly run multiple things you can increase more threads as well so here i'm just entering only one thread and yes now you created your profile so like in order to check that just go to your system wherever you created that folder now go to documents and go to script sorry script files and I created dbt bpec1. So you can see I created macros, models, dbt project YAML, so seeds and all that. Now I got everything. Now I want to open this folder. So for that reason, again, I'm going to VS code file, click on open folder. Now I want to open within the script files. I want to open bpec dbt1, so open. So like now I'm at bpec dbt1 where you can see model, so the dummy model they created, you got a schema YAML. So you got your dbt project YAML, everything you have it. So whichever the setup you created, so the usernames, everything, so it's here. And now what you are doing is, now simply in order to make sure, now you are at your dbt project which you created. Now just check whether you are really uh, means like do you have means you, you just need to check whether it's going to work or not for that you want to just run so dbt debug so now in order to get this terminal you want to go to top right corner you are able to see toggle panel click on the middle one you are able to get it so dbt debug if you are able to click on it it's going to do the checks and it said hey all the checks are passed now you are good to go you can create models in your 
uh, what is that dbt so in order to do that so now in order to create a model means in order to create views so in your snowflake to get the data to get the report so what you need to do is you need to open this dbt go to models so already they provided first my first dbt model sql my second dbt model sql they are not needed you can just delete them and even this is also not needed you can just uh, delete them and uh, you want to go to schema yaml so the schema yaml need to be changed so this is something already dbt came up with an example now you want to change the schema yaml so now why exactly is dbt is in is connected with your github so that you are able to have the various version control of your transformation jobs which you are doing so whichever the things you are doing it in your dbt i think you can control them or you can just track them with your cicd so for the version controlling we can do that now this particular schema yaml is not needed so i'm just selecting it let me remove and uh, i just already have my this one yaml let me just paste it here so this is the version one save and i want to create within the model i want to create a new script you here you can see the one new file and I'm giving the name as um, maybe like CTE underscore BPEC dot SQL. So I just want to create the view name. So it's SQL. So I just created SQL code. Now I want to place SQL here. Now, even I got my SQL code, let me just copy and let me paste. Basically, this is a common table expression. People who know SQL, they knew it. Now, inside this particular SQL query, basically we end SQL queries in Snowflake or in Postgres or any of this with the help of semicolon. But in dbt, you should not use a semicolon and you want to run it. So just save it. So now I went with schema.yaml, I saved it. I went with um, means like uh, CTE underscore BPEC dot SQL, I saved it. And I created a table in Snowflake. So now here, if you are able to notice, go to the schema raw underscore BPEC underscore data and as financial underscore data is the table. So I created a financial table here. If you are able to see, I created a table and I inserted some values here. Now I want to create a view. So for that, so based on this table, I'm writing the SQL query for that. And what I'm simply doing now, here we go. Now what you need to do, you, you can just simply click on dbt run. So like now I saved it and I went with ct underscore bpeg dot sql and I want to run this particular course dbt run so it is trying to run it and once it's successfully completed yes completed successfully it passed so now you created this particular dbt model so you are able to write, write down an sql query so that based on the, so it's like a simple trans it's not a transformation here we are just doing a simple uh, cte expression you can transform the data with the help of same kind of sql queries and you can use it similarly now i can go to snowflake i refresh now i got cte bpeg now I got the CTEB pack. Now what I can do, I just want to view the record. So I can simply say, so select star from BPEC and I want to go to raw and dot, I want to go to the table name called CTE underscore BPEC is the view and control enter so this is the report so now based on the ct this is the result we got it now you are extracting the data so like from your s3 so we haven't done that part so like uh, we will be go doing it in the other video how exactly we can connect s3 with snowflake now what we have done so we we have our data in our snowflake in case no we want to connect the data with s3 so that if any time we load a data into s3 we automatically it is able to inject it into snowflake we got the data into snowflake now i want to transform it to get the report to get some better understanding Understanding. So I'm writing the transformation jobs in dbt. So I developed a connection between dbt and snowflake. That's what we done. I think I hope you got an idea how exactly to play around with the dbt with snowflake. Thank you.